Hello everyone, good morning to our morning devotional. Today's devotion is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. It says, Let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. And today I'll be talking about temptations. Today's devotional is entitled Temptations Timing. History tells us that during World War II, Hitler had an interesting strategy for attacking the various European nations. He always did it on a weekend. Hitler knew the various parliaments would not be in session, making it more difficult to react swiftly to an invasion. And he succeeded on that. In the same way, the devil will wait for an opportune moment, the decisive time on attack. It may be when our guard is down, when we are not expecting it. It may even come when we think we are the strongest, when we think and we said, I'm doing pretty well spiritually. I think I'm really growing. Or sometimes we say everything is going great with us. But often, weaker believers are less vulnerable than stronger ones because weaker believers recognize their frailty and vulnerability. They tend to trust God at times such as that. The Bible says, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Maybe you are thinking of that we are strong and that we can handle it and that we can overcome it and that we don't need the work in the presence of God and its help. And perhaps recently you have experienced a great blessings in your life. That blessing may involve your family, your career, your ministry, or your personal walk with God. But the enemy wants to rob you of it. Remember when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, the Holy Spirit came upon him in the form of a dove, and a voice was heard from heaven from the Father saying, You are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. That is in Luke chapter 3 verse 22. And the Bible would tell us also that after this account, just shortly after this, Jesus was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 14. Well, we, we have to note that uh, it is not a sin to be tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. The sin takes place only when we give into that temptation, when we open the door to it and entertain it. That is why we should flee temptation and uh, never leave a forwarding address for for it to keep on coming. Yes, that is what temptation is like. You think you can handle it, but suddenly you are caught in its current. To pray we won't be tempted and then place ourselves in a vulnerable situation is like trusting out our fingers into a fire and praying that they won't get burned, but we get burned. We need a healthy respect for the enemy we face and the temptation he will utilize in our lives. James 1.14 says, It's what is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. But glory be to God, for we can have victory in Christ Jesus. May God will preserve us, may God will keep us, and may God will protect us as well. Good morning and God bless.